you probably always wondered what's behind this door. Let's take a look. Welcome to our fabulous Fab Lab. Dennis Lenny and a bunch of 42 students created a playground where coding and craftsmanship intersect. They will tell us all about it. Fab Lab is a cooperation between 42 Berlin and Workers Co-working Space. Basically, we have two rooms full of the finest tools to make almost everything. Welcome to the Clean Lab. This is one of the two parts of our Fab Lab. It's a clean lab because here we don't do dusty things. <laughs> and the first station is the Synth Lab. This is from my student colleague Graham. The next station we have is the electronic part. The other day we also had a workshop from CTM and we were creating some uh, sounds, some music synth. So we have many uh, soldering machines, as you can see. Here we have already, sorry, <laughs> my alarm. Here we have already four 3D printers. There are some more arriving, a big one, also a CNC desktop. This computer is the one that we use here for doing all the CAD, all the 3D edition, also 2D edition for the laser cutter. The next station is the textile lab. We are trying also to work with new materials, uh, for example, combining the 3D printing with the, with the textile, as you can see here. Uh, for now, we have two sewing machines for the beginning, an overlock machine if you want to do more resistant um, sews. So as you see, we have many different colors of filaments, um, we were also thinking about producing ourselves with some recycling materials, uh, but we're still working on that. We have more space for working, for example, when we do big workshops, also small tools for, I don't know, for example, repairing mobile phones or computers. It's not only a fab lab for creating new stuff, you can also repair things you have at home. So, yeah, as you see, we have almost everything. The fab lab is for our students to get live to the code, to get physicality to this code, to pursue AI projects and the Fab Lab is for the wider community. It is for everyone and uh, anyone can join Workish to then come to the Fab Lab. Could be designers, uh, engineers, artists, even hobbyists. But on top of that, it can also be a place where people can create their first prototype of something that they want to develop in the future. Uh, it should be an opportunity for them to make meaningful connections so that it can be the basis of uh, future projects, um, uh, innovations or maybe even new companies. Pretty much anything that uh, can be used with these tools and devices we have here at Ant, um, that's what the Fab Lab is for. And this is the Dirty Lab, where the dirtiest things are done in our lab. Of course, you could drill with our basic tools, you can paint something, you can measure, you can do whatever you want for your dream project, of course. The power tools are called power tools because they need a lot of energy. Oh, we could. The welling machine, which needs a lot of skills, but don't worry about this, you'll get all the necessary skills when you get here. The Fab Lab is for learning. Learning about electronics, manufacturing, about robotics, how to interact with the real world. Basically moving from being just a consumer to being a maker, being a student, bringing their bikes here to repair it. Basically having the feeling that you have some impact on this world. So we are working on a visual synthesizer. Basically we are trying to control the waves of the RGB channels with these knobs here. We want to learn the basics from oscillators and how waves and RGB channels work. So we're making some progress, it's really fun. We have AI projects, uh, we have projects in the area of digital health, and we have lots of creative projects. For example, we have a lot of students who are involved in music and they build their own synthesizers here. I work a lot with Eurorack synthesizers like this, and I wanted to try and build my own version of it in code, but also in an object, which is a mini computer inside a MIDI controller and everything is standalone and it works just you control the knobs and the output sound. I'm interested to learn how um, code and objects go together and the lab is the perfect place to do that. It's just so cool to see the magic happen here. We have for example a couple of students who are super enthusiastic about drones and they just 
get together and share their knowledge. Right now we are working on um, a small drone project. Just took one drone apart and to see what's inside and um, we manufactured most of it with the tools we have here in the Fab Lab. Like the laser cutter, 3D printer and our soldering stations. Now we have here the possibility to actually learn to fly them, learn to build them and learn how to program them and that's our main goal. So in the Fab Lab we adopted many of the things that work well at 42 Berlin. We don't have any professors but people learn from each other. You enter the space and there will be always a knowledgeable person about soldering, about 3D printing, about drones. Basically we leave it up to the students to preserve their ideas and it's super cool basically that we don't have to come in with ideas but let the students do and let the magic happen. I like the fact that we have the freedom to work on whatever projects we like and um, to see what other people are doing and learn from them as well. What I like most about the Fab Lab is actually the freedom we have here. We have so many tools at hand that we can use, that we can share, that we can learn. Yeah, and, and most of it the, the people that are here. There's free space for creativity and ideas exchange and you, you get support and all this amazing community and I really like that. We definitely do want to offer some introductory courses into certain skills just so people can feel a bit more confident about their first steps. I would like to go back to making some uh, you know, inventions uh, uh, following up what I've done in the past with Lenny3000 on YouTube. Make sure to follow and subscribe. And last but not least, the Fab Lab is about having fun. I have spent many weekends here, the time just flies by and at off the end of the day, at least I feel very good. We also have a kitchen, which is nice, but okay, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, sometimes it is working and sometimes, oh, it, it is work. Oh, I see. Actually, I am confused. Thank you so much for watching. You can join the Fab Lab by becoming a student at 42 Berlin. Or joining Workish. See you soon. And if you haven't done so yet, click the button below to subscribe to our channel for more episodes and awesome YouTube content. Also, you will find a lot of useful links in our description uh, about how to join Fab Lab, what we do here and much more. See you soon.